Hello there, this is Black Captain 8 from BHD8 Gaming. In this video, we're going to actually address a comment that was left on a previous video addressing the Borg probes from Aurora Armstrong asking about the new Strange New Worlds hostile crew. In this video, we're going to compare my current Strange New Worlds loadout to the Pike Moreau Chin, 1-5 Beverly, and 789 crews that we used in our previous two videos on Borg probes. We're going to be hitting those level 33 Borg probes we're going to try to first fill up our standard cargo the way that it comes. Then we're going to see if we can eke out any more cargo if we can switch out an officer like our Stan or Borg Stan or even our Strange New Worlds Laon below decks to go ahead and get a little bit more probes while we're out there. And then if we can go ahead and still fill up for some reason, then we're going to worry about time. Thanks to Movie Magic, you won't have to see all that. We'll just speed it all up so you can see exactly how long it took me. And uh, yeah, let's do it. The first crew I'm actually going to toss on here is going to be my Strange New Worlds Pike with Strange New Worlds Uhura, and then I toss Strange New Worlds Laon on there. That gives me the maximum synergy for Strange New Worlds Pike, which means that we're going to get the absolute most amount of damage going just to those shields every time, which recharge really quickly and keep us in the fight for longer. We did have an additional spot below deck, so I toss Beckett Mariner on there. It doesn't really matter. I don't need the survivability right now. The damage isn't going to help me. I don't need any mitigation. I know for a fact I can take this crew out there, fill up on the probes, and not have to worry about it so i just tossed that on there because i like beckett mariner we're not going to need her so it doesn't really matter just wanted to let you know before we get started on this that's what we're going to do i went ahead and tossed my discovery out here so we can go ahead and do this a little bit faster so i will just go ahead and yank this ship over to it and if you remember from the previous video we did in board probes part two what we like to do is go peek into each one of these level 33 systems over here in romulan space see if we can get us one of those assimilated ferenki traders now, in this video, we actually don't want to hit those because we're trying to compare this to the other crews that we've got. So we want to try to keep that as apples to apples as possible and not work any of those in. Doesn't look like that is a problem for us anyways. So I will go ahead and hit Beta Zatori over here just because. So we'll route to that system. Now, the next thing that I want to do, two things actually, is make sure that I don't have any unread battle reports. That will help us get a gauge for how many hostiles we killed out here. The other thing that I want to do is go check my stats for our hostile ships destroyed. So right now, before we get started on this first crew, we have 202,029 hostile ships destroyed. So we'll go ahead and see what this means for us over in this system. I did say I'm going to toss a stopwatch on the screen. I'm going to do that for my own sake. I won't be able to have it on top of this screen here, but I will leave this unedited and I'll just toss a timer on the screen for each one of these crews after the fact and just sync it up in the video editing. So... We're going to go ahead and get started on this. I'll start my timer as soon as we actually pop this first hostile, and let's see how long as this takes us. This is the Strange New Worlds Pike, Strange New Worlds Uhura, and Strange New Worlds Laan crew, and we're starting the timer right now. All right, there we go. We are right under 15 minutes according to my timer here. We are at max loot. If we go ahead and hit one more of these, we can show you. That is max loot. If you noticed, I did check one of the battle logs. So we were at 81 kills before that. If we go verify, let this one get killed. And then we'll go look at our hostile number here again. So here we're up to 81. This would actually be 82. We actually didn't get any more from that. So we'll call this 81. And here is our... Hostile ships destroyed at 202,111. So it was brutal. 15 minutes to go ahead and get through this. As we said, we didn't need any of those lower decks officers for this because we are already doing a bunch of damage with our Vidar. We go ahead and recall this and get it repairing. But we did hit our max cargo capacity right now, 466,900 or so, 890, whatever that actually is. Of these probes in that time, we did not hit a single one of the assimilated Ferengi miners. Now, I do want to go back. This is why I was taking a look at the logs before. I'm going to start operations level 49 player over here is using the 7, 9, and 5 crew that we briefly touched on in a previous video. And I do not believe that I actually will be able to use this crew very well. And I will be honest, I hope that I'm not going to sit here and spend 15 minutes on every single one of these screws. I hope some of them are not that effective. So that we can go ahead and to spend a little bit less time doing this video uh, when i move to my seven eight whatever uh crew hopefully i won't be out here for too long i don't think it's going to work that well if we go check our battle logs this is why it's already taking us 
three rounds to blow these up. Maybe if we can get three shots off in the first round, then it won't take us that long. But uh, we'll find out. We will try that crew. See how it goes. I don't have high hopes for it. I'm saying that right now for the record. I don't have high hopes for that crew. I could be wrong. And I will let you know because it does matter for this. All of my Strange New Worlds officers are at their first rank. If we go look over here, this doesn't matter. It's his captain's ability, but we're getting our field mitigation increased by 14% with that full synergy. Uhura over here is going to increase my armor shield deflection dodge by 500% of total attack when attacking hostile battleships from an interceptor. If we go look, we're probably already at our max mitigation as part of the situation here. And then La'an, of course, is just going to increase our base warp speed, which is helpful for these tests here by 50% because she is an officer. She's not below decks. Now, what I'd like to try is a variation of this where we put like four of 11 on here in place of La'on, move La'on below decks. We get way more cargo capacity. We probably won't hit that, but it'd be nice for us to go ahead and try and see how that stacks up compared to this standard crew that I've been using here. You might find something a little bit better. Don't know if we'll have time for that in this video, but we'll try to cram it in if we can. 30-ish seconds before we're ready to finish our repair and summon it back out. Let's try that 1-5 Beverly crew with defense stacked below deck. Now that one is kind of your original Strange New Worlds Pike because he does a very similar thing where he's going to increase the amount of the damage that goes to your shield every single time. All right, we'll speed this up real quick and move you magic. Okay, there we go. So now we've got one five and Beverly on here. My five is only rank one. That's not really going to matter because we're just getting her captain's ability. We are a little shy on our attack bonus this time because we just put our highest defense officers in there. We could switch that out a little bit if we want to, but remember, we're just after the maximum mitigation that we can get from Beverly Crusher for this. So that's the crew that we're going to go ahead and try. Let me save this before we move off of this screen. There's one other thing I want to check while we are sending this ship right back out here. Remember, we can summon it in really fast. We'll send this over here. Let's go check what our mitigation was on that crew that we just ran. So for those of you who don't know how to do this, you're actually going to take your Total that you've mitigated over here on this left hand side, divide that by the damage that was dealt from the hostile to begin with to figure out what your mitigation actually was for that target. So for us, we're going to take that 30,243 divided by 43196. That's going to leave us with 70% mitigation, which I believe is a little bit light. Let's go ahead and calculate this other one down here towards the bottom. I think that it's supposed to be around 71.19 or something like that is our actual, I'll know it when I see it, is our actual maximum mitigation. So we may not actually be mitigating the maximum amount that we can with that crew. However, so much of it's going to our shield instead of our hull that it keeps us in the fight way longer. So let's try that with the second hit that's down here. That's 151.963 divided by 217.048. That leaves us with the same number, 70% mitigation. So that means that we're not quite maximum, we're really close. We'll have to see what we get out of this Beverly crew. Now that we are in the system, let's go ahead and we've looked at all of our battle log reports. They won't be in there. Our counter will be reset. Let's help out our alliance like a good uh, alliance mate would do. We will reset our timer over here just for the sake of being thorough. Let's look at how many hostile ships we have destroyed again. That is 202,111. And now from the first hostile kill that we get, we will start our timer. And I will speed through this again for you so you don't have to sit through the agony. And let's see how long this takes. And starting now. So I saw 345.51. We'll go check that in the battle logs in a moment. Now let's go check our hostile ships destroyed is 202.163. We have to subtract one from this. We had 52 hostile kills. We'll mark this all as red. We did see 345,000 or so. We did not quite fill up. We did that much faster, which was pretty nice but this is still not the optimal crew for me. Now, the good thing about this is that we're already back. We have gone ahead and started our repair real quick so that we can get started on our next crew. The next crew that I'm going to use is going to be my previous winner, Pike Moreau Chin. We did test Pike Moreau Talon as well. Pike Moreau Chin was the higher performing for me. 
Pike is uh, ranked two, I believe, at the time of recording this video. Talon and Jin are both ranked five. Moreau is ranked three. Now, our Beverly Crusher from this last test that we did uh, in our first video, she was only rank one. This time she's rank two, so we got that 200% instead. But that was not that good of a crew for me. Now, this is a good time to mention real quickly that your mileage may vary, some cases very drastically, depending on the research that you've done and your officer levels. Mostly, there are some buildings and things like that that might factor in as well. But mostly, it's going to come down to the ranks of your officers, whether or not you've got the prime officers, prime survival skills, things like that, that will really let Beverly leverage your defense stat that you have below deck. Things like that actually play into this quite a bit. Speaking of it, while we are going ahead, let's go ahead and put Pike Moreau Chin on here. And then we will go ahead and look at the mitigation that we were getting on that previous crew just to see how it stacks up compared to our first crew that we had. So we want to stack for health primarily until we hit that bonus if we can. We just hit it there. So next I want to do defense because we're on the Vidar. Usually I would go attack. We went ahead and hit it already. Now we want to go for the attack, but we might want to go ahead and try to sneak in some below deck officers even and see if we can still hit that attack bonus. So the most important ones to me are going to be La'on, Devon Attendee, mm, and I wonder what we need for our attack bonus there. We need 300 and it looks like 33 more attack from an officer to go ahead and pull this off. So it looks like we will get there with Rutherford. I believe Boimler is not going to do it. Badgie's not going to do it, and Beckett Mariner probably will. Uh, let's see. We'll get more mitigation. I don't know if we need that out of Rutherford. So we'll probably just go ahead and toss Beckett Mariner on here again. There we go. We've hit all of our bonuses. We've got some below decks to work with this time, and let's see what this gives us for a cargo hold. Now we're up to 568.4 thousand, so this is a much bigger lift we're going to ask this crew to do for us. I did notice the last time that we did this as well, however that we had some of these hostiles flying sideways. So while we're on our way over here real quick before we close out the game and refresh it so that we can try to reduce the amount of glitches that we're getting, let's check what our mitigation was from this team here. We will take that first hit over there. That was 31,484 damage divided by 45,569. That is going to leave us with 69.09% mitigation. So we are just shy of what we had on our Spike Uhura La'an crew, that was the 70%. So we'll go ahead and log that as well for the future. And real quick, just so that we're on the same page, I did not use any exocomps you've seen here. We don't have anything currently being used. So that has not factored into this at all. We're going to park this Vidar in the center here. I will go ahead and pause the video and come right back for you guys. But I'm closing this out and refreshing it so that I get a cleaner game client to keep running these tests on. Okay, so same thing. As soon as we get this hostile killed, we go ahead and start our timer and we will get to it. So we should be starting the timer right now. Oh, and just to make sure that we're on the same page there, we'll subtract one hostile kill from this. We are at 202,163 hostile kills still going into this. Make sure that our battle log only shows that one that we've killed. Okay, so we are current on our... Stats that we're using to measure this are metrics that we're using to measure how effective these crews are. So we'll speed it up. All right, so I saw 306.45 thousand before this ship blew up. Again, we're right about nine minutes and 30 seconds. We can call this pretty similar to that one in five Beverly crew. Of course, we did end up with a lot less loot this time. Not necessarily a lot less, but definitely less loot. Let's go ahead and start the repair real quick. So it looks like we got 53 hostiles again because we got blown up. So I think we were 52 last time. Pretty close. Let's call it 53 hostiles, nine minutes and 30 seconds. So pretty comparable to what we had before that could be uh, explained away by possible transit time between the hostiles. It did seem like I was uh, having to chase down hostiles a little more this time. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go look at our hostile ships destroyed. We're up to 202,216 now. And let's check that mitigation real quickly that we ended up with. Oh, real fast. Let's go double check that battle log and see how much loot we ended up with. That's right, 306,000. So I would put this 
previously this was one of my better crews i would put this behind my 1-5 beverly now especially let's go look at our mitigation and see what we are doing on that front so this first attack here was a very small critical off of this ship here it was 3254 divided by 4570 so we're at that 71.20 that should be the max mitigation that we have out of this crew Let's go check it again on this large critical it got on us down bottom. That's probably energy weapon versus the kinetic weapon, I would imagine. We could go check the firing pattern on stfc.space to make sure. 260740 divided by 366208. So we were at 71.19. That is max mitigation that we were getting. It still killed the heck out of us. So, uh, out. At this point, I'm willing to call that group pretty similar to what we get out of our... 1-5 Beverly as far as the amount of hostiles we can get if you're trying to run an event. However, when it comes to the loot, we did get about 40,000 more loot out of our 1-5 Beverly crew than we got out of that Pike Moreau Chin crew. So we will go ahead, speed up this repair, send it right back out. We're going to try. I don't think it's going to work very well for us as we stated before. We're going to try a 7-8-9, something like that variation of the crew. Of course, we'll probably try to tag somebody out or five so that we can get our maximum synergy and increase loot let's see how that goes let's grab a borg officer and slap them up here real quick just so we've got somebody to work with to put this group together we want our five we want our seven and who do we need for max synergy here we need a command officer nine of eleven let's see she gives us the defense or we can go with one of eleven and get the protected cargo increased i don't think we're gonna get hit while we're out here so let's go ahead and toss 9 of 11 on there let's see if we can get our health bonus stacked up first it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy so we'll go ahead and switch to our attack bonus again easy now let's try to get our defense wow we're there pretty quickly we've got three below deck slots that we can use i don't think we're gonna fill up with this crew at all so let's put devon attendee down there i don't think we'll need the extra damage or piercing stats from beckett mariner or badgie Let's go ahead and fill this out with Sam Rutherford because we might need that shield and Brad Boimler. So we'll get the most mitigation we can get out of this crew. And let's go ahead and send it over to Beta Azatori for our final test out of these crews here. Again, we probably will do that bonus test. Let's see if we can find a system that nobody else is in real fast. So we have less competition for hostiles. I like to give anybody else that I am. Farming hostiles with a wide berth. Looks like we're going to have to go ahead and stack in that beta Satori system. After all, that's fine. Send that out here. Go ahead and route. Same thing. First hostile that gets blown up. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. I do not have high hopes for this, but Afghan has been wrong plenty of times in the past. And we're starting the timer right now. Oh, that got me a little bit off guard. I think we're around 320 something. Let's go look at the logs real quick. Looks like we got 51. So I will be honest, this did perform better than I thought it would. This took just shy of 10 minutes this time around. Part of that was that we were trying to give our uh, purple player over there a wide berth so that we were not on top of them. But let's go ahead and call it just under 10 minutes. And let's see what we made off with. 334,000. So from a time perspective and a probe perspective, it did work a little bit better with 1.5 and Beverly than 7.5 and 9. However, we did get quite a bit out of this. I am pleasantly surprised with how well this did work at this stage of the game. Let's go check our battle log for our mitigation. So let's take that 23,039, divide it by our 45 by 47. That leaves us with only 50.58, so we'll call that 50.6% mitigation. So we were not mitigating nearly as much as we should have been for a very viable crew. However, that was quite surprising that we were able to do what we did with it anyways. Not counting this fight here, I think we were still doing, what, three rounds for most of our, let's get out of this battle log, three rounds for most of our engagements that we had here which means that we're not really getting that much out of our 
7 of 11 as our captain. And we did do this in one round. So, okay, that explains why we're where we're at. Probably at a stage in the game where we can one-shot these level 31 probes. One-shot, quote-unquote, meaning that that 90% chance of him crocking. We're destroying this probe, and it only has a chance to hit us one time. So we're only taking a total of... 4,268 whole damage looks like whenever we are getting attacked at all so we are stomping this hostile out fast enough that our mitigation doesn't really matter that much because we're only getting that mitigation for one shot in one round instead of having to rely on that mitigation for several shots over the course of three rounds or so so it is kind of nice there that is probably why this crew is remotely effective i don't think we're going to get to a point however where we destroy this hostile in a single round before it gets to fire a weapon like we are able to do in those level 29 uh, Borg probe systems that we did a video on way back when. Actually, we should go check as part of this video as well to go see if that is still the case because I did have somebody ask me if that had been fixed yet. I don't think it has, but that's not a bad thing for us to do while we're out here testing this stuff to see if we can still hit those in a single round. So let's go ahead. Let's call this bonus number one because I do want to go ahead and try to run a slightly modified version of the strange new worlds pike uh strange new worlds uhura crew to see if we can go ahead and increase our cargo capacity below decks possibly by trying to toss chin in the mix or something like that maybe we can go ahead and put la on below decks to get a little bit more cargo out of that situation we'll try that as well bonus number one let's go ahead and just see what happens we'll run this vidar out to that rota gamma system and see if it does any damage to us in the first round this may or may not be a good test. We might want to try it a few times to see if it gets to get any hits off that first round. We might go ahead and kill it with our first weapon before it gets a chance to do anything. This test might not be very good. If we can't make a good determination out of here, then I'll probably have a couple of those transwarp cells remaining and we can toss something. I don't think we can make a Rialta get out there, but something really small, like maybe the baby jelly. I don't know if the baby jelly can make it out there on its warp range, but let's see what kind of ship we need, what kind of warp range we need to get out there. Uh, it looks like we need to drop an officer on here first off. Cannot make it there. We need a warp range of 22. We can make that happen with some crewing. So let's go ahead and toss just our max warp range crew on here and just whatever below decks. We'll go ahead and waste the transwarp cell right now instead of waiting until later because why not. And let's go send a baby jelly out to level 29 Borg probe space just for science. Okay, it looks like our Vidar has made it out here. Let's go ahead and smash a couple of these probes real quick and check our battle logs. Right now, we're not really that worried about how many we have over here, although we haven't killed anything yet. So let's go double check my math on how many ships we killed. We are up to 202,267 of our hostile ships destroyed from our previous 759 crew. Let's go ahead and take a crack at a couple of these real fast before Baby Jelly gets here. And we'll go check all the battle logs here in a moment. We could probably sit out here and blow these things up all day. Sorry to the people out here whose toes I'm stepping on with my Vidar that is eating up all these things that doesn't really need to be out here doing. All right, that should be enough to get us by. We've got a couple here. Let's see if any of them are doing any damage to us at all. So no, because we killed it with our first shot. Is that our first shot? Yes, it looks like it. Uh, so we got to find one of these where 7 of 11 does not proc and see if it is doing anything to us there. Uh, he did proc, so again, that's not going to be helpful to us. We got a 90% chance of this. We might have to kill like 10 of these and see if there's anything in there. He proc'd again. All right, so let's go ahead and hit these. And while our baby jelly's out here and it's right next to one, let's go ahead and let it get exploded on one of these as well. That should give us a clearer picture than our 759 crew, I believe it was. Baby jelly got destroyed, which means it did some damage at some point in time, of course. But what round did we get hit in? Did we go the whole first round without taking any damage? Okay, so I think that uh, we did take damage in the first round there. So it looks like maybe these got fixed. Our second round didn't do anything. I don't think they are. If we look on SDFC.space, they don't do any damage in the second and third round. Then they hit again in the fourth round. So they are doing damage this first round here. Mm -hmm. It's good to know. Let's go check with our other crew and see if any of these times we did not proc. We finally found a battle log here where our 7 of 11 did not proc right off the bat here. Just did go to two rounds, it looks like. It did get to fire off that weapon at Arvidar here in the first round. 
I believe these, maybe these weren't the ones we were looking at previously. Somebody catch me in the comments below. Are the level 29 Borg tactical probes not the ones we've been telling people are bugged? Did they fix this at some point in time and I wasn't paying attention? Let somebody know. Because I had just, I, I was pretty sure that these were the ones that everybody said were bugged. They didn't fire their weapon in the first round. And that was part of the reason why we came out here. We we'll go ahead and recall the ship and get it back so we can run our final round of tests. But it doesn't look like these don't fire a weapon in round one. They have been hitting my ship. I mean, they killed my baby jelly. They did. Uh, I mean, that wasn't in round one, but it did hit me in round one just a second ago when our board DCS 7 of 11 did not proc. We also got hit in round one with that weapon. Was it the level 31 space? Was it 31 and not 29 probes? Do I remember that wrong? Let me go ahead and try those instead. I think I've got... Yeah, we got four more of these transwarp cells. We'll go ahead and send our baby jelly out here real quick and test those and see if that's what it is. We need to go ahead and queue up this last crew anyways. So let's go ahead and send the baby jelly out there. Hopefully we don't have officers on that baby jelly that we need, but uh, when it blows up, we can go ahead and get it back real quick. So we're going to try to do a variation of the Strange New Worlds crew that will give us more loot than what we are getting before. Of course, it will probably take us more time, but that's just the way it goes. So Strange New Worlds Laon is going to be below deck. Uh, let's see what we want to do. We probably need to toss our chin over there at the end that's probably just as good as anything else so Uhur is going to go ahead and scale off of our attack i was going to say maybe we could put bev over there but trying to stack for attack and defense is not really the best so maybe chen can go ahead and help us get more mitigation out of this i don't know somebody in the comments below you're definitely going to disagree with me and say that i should have went with x officer instead of y but we're just testing some stuff out here let's see what happens so, of course, we want to try to hit our health bonus again. That keeps us in the fight longer than anything else by giving us more hull to work with. It's like some of our better officers are, in fact, on our other ship there. But we will do what we can. We did hit that bonus there as well. And, of course, we probably have our defense officers uh, not available. That's pretty close to what we were doing with the other ones. Or our baby jelly will blow up in a moment. We'll go ahead and take some of these stats right back off of it. Maybe it'll blow up. I mean, it should blow up. This might take a couple rounds. Let's see if these are doing damage to us in the first round. I could have swore it was 29s. Maybe it's 31s. And if it's neither one of those, somebody tell me in the comments below which one of these we actually meant to go test. And we'll have to do that again in another video, I guess, if it's not one of these. I remember it being an odd number. Maybe it was 31. Maybe it was 29. Maybe Dan has no idea what he's talking about anymore. Either way, let's see what happens right now. All right, baby jelly exploded. Let's go ahead and start the little 30-minute repair on that. Check our Borg Tactic Probe, Battle Log, and it looks like it did deal damage to us in the first round with both of its weapons, so it's not the 31s either. What, what what do I mean here? Which one of these is it that don't fire their weapon in the first round? I could have sworn that there was one of those that when I was farming these, it didn't do any damage to me in the first round at all, and now I'm confused, so somebody go ahead and catch me in the comments below. Tell me what in the heck we're supposed to be testing here, and we'll do that in a follow-up video, or we'll just post it on the Discord if somebody else knows the answer to it already. But we'll go ahead and move on. So let's pull our officers off of the little baby jelly here. We'll take all of those strapping lads off of there as well. Put my little ISS jelly back there so we can find it later. And let's go ahead and pull all of our below decks off and try this again. Okay, so first thing we need is help. Toss them over here. That should get us close enough that we can go ahead and switch to defense and probably finish this off. Nope, one more. So let's see. Attack with Kumak. He'll take care of both of those. We got one more below deck ability to do. I think we'll probably need the hole. So let's go with Devon Attendi. What do we got? I think she's at rank one. So we're only going to get a yeah, plus 75% to the base of our whole HP off of that and plus 25% to max cargo for our La on neat okay let's go ahead and summon this ship over here let's try this one more time and see what we get out of this very last crew that we have beta zatori seems to be working for us let's send our ship out here we're running out of these transwarp cells thankfully and one more time we're gonna have to do this movie magic start a timer this video has already been about an hour almost hour and a half it looks like of my time i tossed a four hour shield up before we started doing all this stuff and we're down to two hours and 24 minutes so never say that Dan hasn't sacrificed for the community. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and attack this first ship. Let's see if this does anything at all for us. And I will start my timer again as soon as this thing explodes. And we'll see how it goes. So we're starting the timer right now. So we killed two hostiles real quick. We do have that in our battle report here. This will be the third hostile. We do want to go check 
how many hostile ships destroyed we have 202 281 are we at rest we are right now so let's go check that one more time see if we're still 282 202 281 okay that's the number we're working off of after three hostiles have been destroyed All right, so that was 450,000, which means that we were about 16, 17, somewhere around there, thousand lower than what we got with our initial uh, Strange New Worlds crew loadout. We had 77 of the hostiles that we killed, it looks like, because the 78th blew us up. We go check in here. Hostile ships destroyed are now up to 202,355. And it looks like that took us right around uh, just shy of 15 minutes again to do that. Let's double check that loot. It looks like we were at yeah 450,000, which means that we weren't getting any benefit out of La'an yet. We were just under what we were doing before. But let's check our mitigation first to see how we were doing there. We got 16602 divided by 23734. That leaves us with 69.95% mitigation, which means that we are just under what we were getting before for our mitigation. But keep in mind that we are also putting less of that towards the hole. That's not good. So we could eke out just a little more out of that. 71.19 is our max mitigation. So what we could try if we wanted to is to crew this same uh, ship out and just stack completely for attack below decks so that our Uhura is getting the most mitigation she can do. Now keep, we keep in mind that this is an ensign level uh, Strange New Worlds Uhura. Yes, yeah, she's cadet in the show, but she is a ensign for us with just that base level of her officer ability rocking for us if she was ranked two this could be very differently so if you have her ranked two you definitely want to run your own tests see what you can do if you are already capping on your cargo capacity see what you can do to get that a little bit higher and continue rolling onwards i don't think we're going to be able to do it in this video we've got one more token to try to get that done with i believe let's see uh, two more tokens we can try it if we are so inclined, but I don't think that we're going to eke that out. Let's go ahead and move all of these over here. So if we went just straight for attack, first off, let's cancel this so we can see what our attack stat was before. So our attack stat right now, before we make any changes, is at 13,180. Let's keep Tindy over there. We probably want to keep Tindy below decks. And go ahead and just do our most amount of attack we can do. Just keep clicking away. So we're up to 21,000. That is a massive difference in our attack there. But will it equate to enough in the long run to actually make it more worth it? I guess there's really only one way to find out, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and summon this ship over here. Uh, we went ahead and sent our discovery home because we didn't think we'd be doing this again. We got two minutes and five seconds for me. It's not going to take that long for you guys. Now, I will say that while I was grinding for that last crew there for a little while i did go pull up my video from back in november of 2021 november 15th to be precise the first video that we did specifically geared towards borg probes on this channel and in that we talked about using your 789 crew on those level 29 borg probes in the rodent gamma system they are bugged they do not fire their energy weapon until the fourth round so that's why we went ahead and hit them is that usually you can proc that that 90% chance with Decius, the Borg Decius version uh, 7 of 11, and he will go ahead and destroy that hostile, usually before the kinetic weapon gets to fire in that round, so you can oftentimes take zero damage while you're fighting those. So that does still appear to be the case. They do look like they still don't fire their energy weapon that first round like the other Borg probes seem to do. So yes, that probably is still bugged. Thankfully, we did go back. We did have that on record somewhere. And that's bonus tip number three, by the way, is that when you are doing something mind-numbingly boring, like when you're sitting here farming Borg Probe Hostiles for like 15 minutes for the like fourth time while you're shooting a video, that's a great time to go get caught up on Dan's old videos. Okay, so the final of all of these that we're going to do, now that we are an hour and 46 minutes into this test, we're going to do it one more time and see what happens. I'm hoping this screw doesn't work that well, guys. I really am. I'm so tired of sitting here clicking these Borg Probe Hostiles. I grind a lot in this game. 
uh, for all sorts of different reasons. I don't hate the fact that I'm going to sit here and have a bunch of these Borg probes stocked up regardless for doing this video for everybody. Hopefully you guys get some sort of value out of this. We're going to do one more test. Movie magic is going to be happening for you guys. It's not for me. So just, just send some positive energy my way because I'm going to need it to recharge after this. We are going to go ahead and start this timer again once this hostile dies in a bloody explosion. Here we go. I think it's bloody. It doesn't really look like it, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's bloody and oily. Maybe I feel like it's, it's like electrons are involved and we're starting the timer right now. Oh yeah. So five hostiles have been killed so far. This is going to be the sixth. It looks like, and one more time we're looking at our ships destroyed 202, 361. Let's make sure that's still the same real quick right here. Load up. Oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff in there. We gotta go check that out in a minute. All right, so 202, 361 with six hostiles killed and we'll subtract like 10-ish seconds from it. It's probably gonna be around 15 minutes again if it lasts anywhere near as long as it did before. It may not because we might have less hole now. Didn't really look at that. And we might not be getting much less mitigation at all. We might've pretty much been capped for what we could get out of that crew. Don't know. Let's see what happens. So let's speed it back up for you guys though. Four hundred sixty-three point three three, which means that we were just under our four hundred sixty-six point nine that we got from the crew the way it was originally staffed. So we're close with this. We're starting to get that dialed in there. Let's see if we hit max mitigation this time, because then the difference would be the hole that we are not able to have there. By the way, I need to stop that timer. We're at sixteen minutes. I'd say this is still probably right around the same thing. Same number of hostiles that we killed the first time, so 81. So I'd say it probably takes the same amount of time to kill the same number of hostiles when you're not looking at the uh, transit time. I also had to go do my bonus refines because the bonus refinery is going on. We had to go look at some other things as well. So we just call it the same. We call it 15 minutes, which if y'all see me itching a bunch, I'm still sunburnt from the weekend. So I'm not like tweaking out or anything. I've been sitting under these studio lights for a little over two hours right now in this chair, working on all these crews and I'm itchy. All right, Dana's itchy. Sorry. All right, so we'll go verify. We did get 463,000 loot. Now, the loot is not as important. I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, well, if you went and looked at all the probes and tried to find the ones with the most amount of cargo and you went and hit those instead, then you could... No, we're not doing that. The important thing is time and cargo. We're not going to sit there and spend way more time to try to get a little bit more cargo. The whole point here is that when you're at this operations level, when you're at the stage in the game that you're hitting level 33 probes, then you're not going to sit there and go look at every single probe, especially when you've got a lot of competition in those systems a lot of the time. Remember, we're not doing events right now. There's a Crucible of War and a Mining Monday happening right now. So this is really a dead zone for people out here hitting these. I'm surprised that I even have to share the system with anybody. So no, we're not going to sit there and go try to find the probes that have the absolute most nano probes that we can hit every single time. That's just not fathomable. We're not doing that. It already took us 15 minutes the way that it was. The way that I refine these right now, that's going to last me at least four days every single one of these trips that I have. And I have a lot of these. When I say I have a lot of these, let's go take a look right now. First off, we'll go over here and verify our hostile ships destroyed. 202,436. I've killed a lot of hostiles with you guys today. But just checking in on our Borg Tech refinery, I have... 19.4 million of these nanoprobes. I'm not out here very often at all trying to go hit these nanoprobes. I use about 100,000 of these a day. I've got almost 200 days worth of this stored up right now. I don't have to use these for a long, long time. So I'm not going to sit there and try to min max it and go try to find the probes that have the most out there to hit every time to try to make this eh, a little bit more. We're not going to do that. You guys are free to do that if that's what you want to do, but I'm not going to do it for this video. Now, what I will say is that I am looking forward to, and I know I'll have to do an update to this video yet again once I get my hands on this Strange New Worlds Una. We are 67 out of 100 shards to get her unlocked. Why? Well, because she will go ahead and take the place of that Strange New Worlds La'an that we had originally on the bridge. We can put La'an below decks now. We don't lose any of our mitigation to the shield. Plus, we get this engine redlining, which gives us more to our impulse speed, which means not only are we going to be able to get more out of our cargo capacity because La'an's going to increase that below decks, but we're also theoretically going to be able to do that a little bit faster, probably much faster if we go look at what the impulse speed is right off the bat, plus 15 on this Vidar. I think we're in the what? I'm not even going to guess. We'll just go look 
over here, swap over to this, look at our impulse speed. We are at 130. So she's going to give us 15 more to that. We're going to do some calculator math for 15 divided by 130. So she's going to give us a boost of 11.538% over what we had before. So we can check my math somewhere around there, 10% faster that we're going to go hop between hostiles. Of course, you still have to wait for the hostile attack animation, which takes five seconds every time. Wish there was an officer for that. That would be amazing. But once we get our hands on that Strange New Worlds Una, which we did pick up 10 shards from the Strange New Worlds uh, Part 3 event store that we just had, they put her in the store, they took her back out of the store, people whined that she wasn't in there, Scoopley said, but you're only supposed to get her from incursions. We said, yeah, but, and they put her back in there. I picked up 10 shards from that. Hopefully you did the same thing as well, because I'm still 33 shards away from being able to get her unlocked, but that will help my hostile grinding crews for everything but surveys, since now we have Hammer doing that instead of what he was originally conceptualized to do. And we'll have to do an update yet again when that happens. However, I think that we have done a pretty good job proving that at this stage in the game, with the research I've done, with the officers I have to go ahead and pad my stats, the Strange New Worlds officers, even at rank one, do perform better for me, even than a Max Chin with Pike and a Grade 3 Moreau, even over the 1-5 Beverly crew, even over your 7-5-9 crew. Strange New Worlds crew right now for me, hands down, is way better. Now, it's going to matter tremendously on how much of your shield is being taken away. If you have to sit there and wait for your shield to recharge every time that you are hitting these hostiles, that's going to add time to how long it takes you to do this. You might still be able to get a pretty decent haul from them, but it's going to take longer to do that. And if they're completely depleting your shield anyways, then you're taking that damage to your hull, then that's not a good thing either. You want to switch to one of the other crews. So really, at the end of the day, just like in all the other videos, you're going to want to take these as a guideline, not as a hard and fast truth. Go test these for yourselves. See which ones work, which ones don't work. Dan is itchy. He's been sitting here for two hours and 10 minutes, according to my timer over here. So we're going to wrap this video up. Hopefully this helps you tremendously. Did you know you could join the channel for as little as a dollar a month, by the way? If you're getting any value out of these videos whatsoever, just one dollar a month telling Dan that you care. Join in up to the channel. Let my wife know that I'm not just in here talking to the wall. There's actually people out there that really appreciate what we're doing here. All those things can help tremendously, but I got to go. I am itchy and I'm tired and I love you guys very much. Thank you for watching. Choose to live, my friends. We'll see you again soon.